Where do you want to go to college? Hmm, junior high? Hello, they call me Zion, and I like video games and cheese and pizza. I like all things in the world. I like nature, I like animals, I like zoo, and I like bugs. I, I like to collect all kinds of bugs, like ants, spiders, and flies. I like reading. I'm practicing all my reading, so I'll be here all day long. I'm going to be in the program for all day at 6 o'clock every day. Do you know why I'm talking about the program? It's so fun, and you get to have all fun. So there's all kinds of games and activities you can do. That's now. Yeah, you can do homework. Then you go to circle. Then you do anything. My name is Kiara Nicole Dixon. <laughs> I'm in the seventh grade. I've been in Hilltop Scholars, does fifth grade count? Three years now? I got involved with Hilltop Scholars because of my mother. The transition from fifth grade to sixth grade was a big deal. Um, because in, I think in elementary, it's more, they kind of more baby you. When she got to sixth grade, from going from fifth to sixth, um, she was kind of like blown back, like, whoa. Now she's getting on a path where she's like, coming home like, oh my God, I, I got an A. Or the other day she just said she went from pre-algebra and she went to algebra now. The stuff that we learned in sixth grade, we had already learned previous in Hilltop Scholars, so it was kind of a jump start. Now I have B's and above, whoop, whoop. And I feel like that since I have those grades that I can do anything, because most of my teachers in my elementary school told me that I was too dumb and I couldn't do it or I couldn't move on forward trying to like transition from elementary to go to middle school and then you've got all the middle school jazz that goes on with middle school and the girls talking about each other telling me i was dumb stupid ignorant it was annoying and so that kind of things that kind of got to me miss katie wanted to just make sure kiara was okay because she had a kiara had a rough day that day and just all the love that they've shown her um i don't want to cry but all the love they've shown my daughter and me um, has been really, has been really, really, really great. Um, she's been, they've been, Marcus have been absolutely um, amazing with her um, as far as boosting her spirits up and making sure that she knows she's loved and that she knows who she is and that she knows that whoever she is, that's important to her and not what everybody else thinks about her and making sure that she stays on the right track. My confidence and self-esteem has grown so much. It's ridiculous. I feel like I've completely con changed. I feel, like, I feel like I've been a new me, a new different person. All the love that's been shown to her through Miss Katie, Miss T, Marcus, um, it's been truly amazing. So um, we're just blessed. first reason for education is to learn how to live. In contrast to many young males, mm. Jeremiah knows what it is to be a man. Me and Mr. Berkeley worked together for about uh, three years prior to my graduation. Uh, I, I used to come in with my pants dragging and like Mr. Berkeley always used to tell me about, okay, you need to pick your pants up. and. Um, and at that time, I didn't understand what he was talking about. I mean, I understood, but I didn't want to follow along with what he was telling me to do. I wanted to keep my pants hanging. I wanted to be like the crowd. When I got to my uh, big senior presentation, I was failing about two of my classes. And uh, she wrote down my uh, little presentation scenes, and she said, if he don't pass these two classes, he would not graduate. And that really hit me hard in the head. If I don't get these two credits I needed to do, I won't be walking across the stage. I mean, I would walk across the stage, but I'd be staying in school because I was, I was in the special ed. And really, they want me to graduate till I was 21. So I, so I had to really get my head anchored in the books, and I had to do the work. 
but it was a great feeling just to be able to see my grandpa, Mr. Berklin and Trevor, and everybody that was at Peace Community Center right down the street clapping when I was getting my uh, diploma. My grandpa, my grandpa, Mr. Burke was on the first two rows, sitting there watching me because because you couldn't look both up in age, and they let him sit kind of close to me and all the graduates, and they was able to see firsthand me get my diploma. But you should have seen his grandfather at graduation. He and I were sitting pretty much side by side, cracking quiet jokes to each other. And, I what and they but was. you should have, you should have seen Grandpa. He was just grinning from ear to ear. It was it was just. Fantastic. Of course, this guy was too. I'm not the average black kid they think me to be. Society looks at, at, at average 19, 18 year, year old uh, black male to be a game banger, to be a dope dealer, to be one of them hardcore, one to be uh, hard people, which I'm not. And, and I'm glad to be able to say that I'm not one of them guys. I'm not, a, I'm not what society looks at me to be. I'm my own self. I'm Jeremiah Jordan Hennix. And um, yes, yeah, so that's mostly my whole story of peace. And I thank you guys. Mm -hmm.